Welcome back to Apollo Justice. We got some stuff finally going on here on the stage. Piano. Yeah, you're right. The guitar serenade. Wow, I'd love to do a show on a stage like this. I'd come to see that. The house is full, and as one, the audience sighs with wonderment. There I am, singing my ballad. The ro Oh, I thought you meant magic. Not singing. Not bad. Wait, aren't you a magician? Yeah. Oh! That's right, I was a magician, wasn't I? Huh. Oh, you're here again. You're here now. It isn't Miss Trucy, and indeed it is Uncle Valent! What exactly are you doing here? I take real responsibility in tasks undertaken. I am inspecting my equipment of illusion to make sure not as a miss miss. The Lamoir teleportation illusion, ooh. Should anything go wrong, it should reflect would reflect poorly upon me and my troop. As I went about my exacting an examination, I happened to notice that piano. And I remembered that fair lady's melancholy melody. Hey, Apollo, maybe Uncle Valen can shed some light on this whole thing for us. Okay. Not like we were already talking back at the other... at the office. Talk more, please. Lamar's vanishing act was your illusion, right? Indeed, the purple prosecutor petitioned my performance. At the climax of the song, he said, Make her disappear like a dream. Like a dream. Yet, what can I work with on a stage meant for musical endeavors? There are none of the conveniences of a stage built for sorceress acts. It was a challenging task, and so I accepted. Uh-huh. But in order to move, you would have had to use some sort of secret tunnel. Right? It's still pretty much have to be a tunnel. <laughs> I sneezed! Oh my god, I'm dying, help me. I got it, it's fine. Not a bad thing as far as the fortunes of Troop Grimari are concerned. So, you were here checking up on your trick to make sure it went well? And went well it did, now speaking of pianos. That piano over there troubles me. What the fuck's up with the piano? Why do you ask why? What? I think it's probably quicker if I just go check it out myself, thanks. What the hell? I know what you are thinking in that head of yours. Grimari, yes, you say. I recall seeing him on television. Something of that sort. Uh, actually, yes, you're right. Wow, he just read your mind, Apollo. Or everyone tells him that and he made a good guess. It was 20 years ago. A young magician, a genius of his time, came down among us. His name was Magnifi Grimari. What's that turtle doing? That's amazing. And the elephant. Great shit. And whatever's on the left. He started it. At his prime, not a day passed that he did not play upon the screens of every TV there was. I do have a vague memory of someone like that on TV. Yet several years ago, that time came to an end. My troop pulled a vanishing act, yes. Cries for magic no longer heard the TV screen a barren waste, stripped of illusion. That's not true. I still went to all your shows. Like that one in the parking lot down at the supermarket. <laughs> When you start playing supermarket parking lots, you know you're in trouble. We hone our skill at these small venues, always awaiting our time. Yes, one day we will rise up from obscurity onto fame shining stage once more. I do this not only for the magic that is Grimari, but for my partner. Your partner? You mean... Yes, Zach Grimari. Apollo's father. Why did I say Apollo's father? Trucy's father. <laughs> Before he disappeared seven years ago. There was no name higher than Grimari in show business circles. None. I will see us return to glory. I, Valent Grimari. Okay. Our founder, Magnifi Grimari, was truly a genius, a worker of miracles. I'll never forget the one I saw when I was little. How he made that whole jumbo jet go, uh, what happened to the jet again? Apparently, someone doesn't remember it as well as they thought. Of all the would-be magicians who came to his door, only Zack and I had the talent. In no time at all, Valent and Zack were the shining stars in the Grimari crown. Cool, huh? And Zack Grimari was my daddy. Now that Magnifi and Zack are gone, I have but one wish. Let it be I, Valent Grimari, who brings the Grimari miracle back to the big stage. I'm rooting for you. Miss Trucy, you cannot grow up quick enough. I need your skill by my side. One skill coming up. How do we manage to get off the topic of the case so quickly all the time? Because this guy's a weirdo. Let's go check the piano. What could possibly be up with it? 
That's one big piano. I've never actually played one. Heh, you should get Mr. Wright to teach you sometime. No good. He can't play either. I kind of feel bad for the guy now. Maybe now is my big chance. Stand back. This could be the debut of a prodigy. What? Did you make that noise just now? Uh, let me try it again. There's a... some stuck key. There's something going on. Time to take a look under the hood. What? What? Looks like some kind of switch. What in the world? This case is crazy. Um... Somehow that would, like, somehow affect it while... I, I don't know, like, Machi playing the piano would somehow trigger the switch? What would that do? Is that somehow what caused the guitar to catch on fire? Or... Some... Uh, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Is there anything anywhere else? Do I have to present the switch to everybody now? Nobody in here. Back out here. Check the other one. Okay. Oh, Emma. There's only one person I know who can munch with such venom. What are you doing here? Hello, Emma. You're looking as grumpy as ever. Oh, am I supposed to be happy? You give me the second degree in court, and Prosecutor Gavin makes me look like a fool? You're talking about the bloodstained Mr. Latouche left? My department chief had a field day with that one. Even a blind person could see the shooter wasn't blind. Funny guy, huh? But that bloodstain helped uncover the biggest mystery of all. Now we know that Mr. Latouche was really with Interpol. We wouldn't have found that out without you. I suppose. Maybe that's why the chief gave me these after he was finished chewing me out. Said it was my reward. Are chocolate snackoos popular down at the precinct or something? I was hoping we could check out the crime scene again. Be my guest, and you're not going to find any clues in here. Though I did find something strange. Something strange? What? I met my embarrassment quota for the year, that's for sure. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Um, how? I mean, think about it. Now you don't have to be embarrassed about anything else all year. If only it worked that way. It just bugs me to think that little kid outsmarted me. And it makes him even more suspicious now that we know he can see. He could have seen the air duct and he could have shot that revolver. But that's not how it sounded in Lamore's testimony. You mean her saying she heard Detective Darian's voice at the scene? That's right! Why can't we have a normal, straightforward killing once in a while in this country? I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Well, I mean... She's not saying she wants more killing, just that the killings that happen should be more straightforward. Was that true, that what you said in court today? You know, about the case? About how everything was happening according to those song lyrics? The guitar serenade, you mean? I found the link, you know. Yep, I got it! We've been over this! This is the biggest flaw in the case. Repetition, especially in flashbacks. And this too. It is kind of hard to chalk it up to coincidence. I know, and I found it. I know. You think the same person did all this? Don't ask me, I didn't do it. Neither did I. I couldn't fit through that air vent anyway. What? You all think I did it? Yup. Sometimes I worry about that girl, well... So what did you find? It's so little I must have passed over it yesterday. What the hell? Part of some device, I think. I haven't a clue what. The bit sticking out from the end looked familiar, so I had it examined. Oh, I just realized fucking Grimari's trap door shit is probably somehow how Darien got out of the room. So that is going to be relevant. But what is this? Ooh, like on a beetle? No. Like on a cell phone, this device must use an electronic signal of some sort. An electronic signal, you say? Huh. Uh, 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 of what kind? Well, what do you think about the switch, first of all? We don't have that. Can't present it. I'll present the switch. Because they gotta be connected. It's 
Small device. Looks like a transmitter. A transmitter? You press the switch here and it sends out a signal. No idea what it's for, though. Can we press it? What is it, Apollo? Say, Emma. You know that strange object you said you found? Oh, this? Let me try pressing this switch. Whoa! Yep! It did cause the guitar to catch on fire! Yeah! Well, now we know what this is, an igniter. This part here must work like a lighter. It nearly lit me up, that's for sure. Hey, don't look at me like that. I didn't do it on purpose. I suppose. At least we're getting somewhere with this. Hey, Apollo. Let's ask Emma more about the Switch. Now that she has some first-hand experience. Okay. Let's do that. The Switch. What are you trying to do, burn me alive? Come on, it's just a few sparks. Says you, you weren't the one holding it. There's enough sparks flying around here just with you two talking. Whoa! What are you implying? Really now? Anyway. Now we know this is a remote for an igniter. I mean, usually when you say sparks between two people, you mean it in a romantic sense. Maybe that's not what she meant. Let me see that for a second. Well? Well, this is definitely a little transmitter. The signal's weak, probably only reaches 30 feet. A transmitter, huh? Incidentally, if you look at a cross-section diagram in the stage area, it's 30 feet! Let's see, 30 feet from lamp- Oh shit! That covers the backstage completely. It also looks like it would cover the stage. Huh. Kinda seems unlikely anyone would use this on stage. Well then. I guess I'd best be getting on with my investigation. We'll have to look for more clues elsewhere then. I feel better just knowing what this thing is now. I'll have to look into igniters a bit more later. Good luck. I'd like to know a bit more about igniters myself. Okay, we are off. Got something going on outside. Darian! Come to laugh at the murderer? Why would I laugh at you? That old bag opens her pie hole and wham bam, my life goes down the chute. Thanks! They won't let me work while I'm a suspect? Darian isn't in the best of moods, is he? Not many people are these days, it seems. It is a crime scene, not exactly the happiest place to hang out. Then Gavin had to go rub salt in the wound. My alibi's rock solid, rock solid! Seems to be, but... So, about your alibi. You have to ask. The shooting happened right in the middle of the third set. Uh, that's right. The music was blaring when we heard those gunshots. And found Mr. Latouse dead. I've got 10,000 witnesses who saw me too. Right there on that stage. Your guitar playing was something else. Thanks, little lady. See? This whole thing's a sham. I can't believe they aren't letting me work. There's no need to yell at me. It's Lamar's fault. She was the one who said she heard his voice at the moment of the crime. Man, I never even talked to that old windbag. How could she possibly identify me? They won't let you work? He won't let me work. Gavin says I gotta lie low till the suspicion is cleared. What suspicion? You can be such a stick in the mud. Mr. Gavin, a stick in the mud? He may look all flashy and showy, but he's straight as an arrow, man. Except when he's depressed. You hear him whining the other day? Oh, you mean the thing with the mixing board? Yep, I remember. I got it. I know. Thank you. <sighs> He's just a perfectionist is all. Not a bad guy, really. Well, I think the Gaviners are the best. I have all your albums. The band's fine, too. Gavin can write a good tune. I'll give him that. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Prosecutor Gavin around much. Oh, him? He's down at the prosecutor's office, most likely. Prosecutor's office? I've never been there, have I? The data on the victim should have come in from the inter from Interpol. Normally, I'd be down there dealing with it, normally. Apollo, let's go check it out. I've always wanted to see the prosecutor's office. Huh, maybe that's not such a bad idea. Right on. 
Say hi for me, okay? Oh, and screw you. Will do. Won't leave out a word. Tell him I won into that crime scene. Uh, we'll be going now. I think that's a bad idea, though. Yes? What do you really think happened? Really? You don't think I did it, right? Well... I feel like this is kind of unusual. In the second investigation, to talk to the guy who seems like... Like, to have a new person basically accused, and to talk to them, and them insisting they didn't do it, and... I don't know, it's kind of an interesting situation right here. Great, way to instill a guy with some confidence. Like, the way they're having him talk makes it seem, like, kind of sympathetic for him, even though he totally did it. Kind of presenting it as if he didn't. Don't get led astray by some siren song, eh? Get this one wrong and you'll be eating humble pie for a year. I'll bake it myself. Let's not talk to him anymore, all right? Yeah. Trucy's scared or whatever face that is is so adorable. She's so adorable. Trucy's the best. Anyway, let's go to the prosecutor's office. There's the burn guitar. Nice collection. Nice view. I like it. That's that's a cool fucking book holder thing. Look at the shape of that. The governor's head office. It's not the band's office, it's the prosecutor's office. Yeah, so that's why I'm asking. What is this creepy thing? O object? Whatever. Looks like Prosecutor Gavin's on the phone. Oh well, guess we'll have to come back. Or we can hide behind that bookshelf real quiet-like. That's eavesdropping. Why? We'd just be waiting quietly so we didn't notice. What if we heard something scandalous about the band? She'd make a good reporter for a gossip mag. What a replica. A replica? Mr. Latouse was after a replica of what? Look, don't talk to me about those Borginians, okay? Just get me that report, chop chop. And stop leaving mysterious objects in my office, okay? It's times like this when I start to miss Darian. Huh? Uh, hiya. Hee <laughs> hee. Just thought we'd drop in, hope you're not mad. How could I be? There's not enough tee-hee in the world, in any case. Have a seat. Prosecutor Gavin, the philanthropist. Watch and learn, Apollo. So who have you come to see? Huh? Clavier, lead vocalist for the Gaviners. Or Prosecutor Gavin, scourge of the courtroom. What do you think he means, Apollo? I think he's giving us a choice. We can either ask him about the concert or the case. Which way to go? Uh, well, they're very intertwined. Ah, oh, that reminds me. Did you see the paper today? Yes. I always read the TV section. Good girl. How about you, Air Forehead? I read the funnies. Nice. Then you will not have seen this. Concert of Tragedy. The Prosecutor's Deadly Song. Ooh, is that a new show? I haven't heard about that one. It's not a show, it's an article. News, you know. Oh, does this have anything to do with the case? Since getting back from the trial, my phone has been ringing off the hook. How does it feel to take a man's life with a song? Have you ever hummed a man all the way to death row? Do you think you could sing for me over the phone? It is endless, endless, thanks to the case you made today, of course. Oh, that was all Apollo's idea. Hey. Uh, is that a newspaper over there, too? Ah, oh, yes, the Borginian Daily Bugle. Go ahead, take a look. Uh, thanks, but I can't read Borginian. Oh, that's right. Suffice it to say, this is big news over there as well. Though they didn't go so far as to mention the lyrics to my song. Probably no one in Virginia could believe it. It's probably seen as just a theory at this point. The journalists didn't see the need to mention it. That makes sense, I hardly know what to think of it myself. Lemoire's testimony will probably be in the evening edition, I'd imagine. Which is why I've had Darian step down from the investigation for now. Yeah, we ran into him moping in front of the Coliseum. Lemoire was my invited guest, so it is a rather delicate situation. You understand how much I want to solve this case, quickly, if possible. Yup, but that's the end of the video. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.